Howdy there folks, it's Amelia from Sleepopolis and today we'll be doing a Helix versus Helix Lux mattress comparison. Helix is a popular online mattress brand with two extensive lines of mattresses. They have their original line of six mattresses ranging from super soft to firm, as well as six more Lux versions of those mattresses. Since we can't compare the entire lines, we're going to be specifically focusing in on the Helix Midnight and the Helix Midnight Lux. Before we get started, I do want to let you know that Helix sent us these beds for free to review and to tell you about. And if you buy either of these beds using our links in the description, we may earn a commission at no additional cost to you. That helps us to fund our testing and bring you these reviews for free. All right, let's get into it. Let's kick this off by taking a look at what's similar between these mattresses. First up, these are both Helix mattresses, so they're made by the same company and they share some similarities in feel and construction since one is just an upgraded version of the other. Second, these are both hybrid bed-in-a-box mattresses. That means they use a mix of foam and coils in their construction and will be delivered compressed in a box to your door. And third, both the standard Midnight and Lux Midnight models are great for back sleepers. Now let's talk about some key differences. First up, the Midnight Lux is both more supportive and more plush feeling than the standard Midnight model, thanks to a pillow top layer and sturdy coils with zoned support. Second, the Midnight Lux is taller than the standard Midnight by about two inches. And third, the Midnight Lux actually comes with a 15 year warranty while the standard Midnight only has a 10 year warranty. Okay, it's time to dive into some specifics, starting off with the construction of each of these beds. What a bed is made out of can tell you a lot about how it'll feel and how it'll perform. Let's start off with the covers. The Helix Midnight's cover is made from a light stretchy material that helps to promote airflow to keep you cool at night. It's super soft to the touch. The Midnight Lux's breathable cover is made of tensile, a natural fiber made from eucalyptus. It has a soft, luxurious feel and helps with temperature regulation. Next, the Midnight Lux has a pillow top layer, quilted with gel foam to provide some initial pressure relief and cushioning, which the standard Midnight does not have. Up next are the comfort layers. The Helix Midnight has a layer of Memory Plus foam. This blended foam should help relieve pressure at the joints and offer a nice contouring feel when you're lying on the mattress. The Helix Lux has a two-layer comfort layer. First up is a layer of Memory Plus Foam, just like in the standard Helix. Then there's a layer of Gel Visco Foam, which adds some extra contouring and pressure relief. Then comes a transition layer. The Helix Midnight and the Lux both have a layer of high-grade polyfoam separating the memory foam from the pocketed coils below. This foam layer provides a cushioning feel and more ergonomic support for your body and adds some support underneath the memory foam layer. For the support layer, the Helix Midnight has a layer of individually wrapped coils. These help to support your body and offer a bouncy feeling to the bed so you don't feel stuck in the mattress. The Lux has a layer of over a thousand individually wrapped coils. These coils have zone support, which means they're softer at the shoulders for added pressure relief and firmer at the hips to help promote a neutral spinal alignment. Zone support is great for sleepers with back pain as it helps to keep the spine nice and straight, which is the key to preventing or soothing back pain. And finally, the base layer. This layer is the same in both beds, a final layer of dura-dense foam for maximum support, ensuring the mattress doesn't sag. Additionally, both mattresses feature edge support reinforcement. Two sides of the Midnight have reinforced edges to make it so you can sit or sleep near the edge. All four sides of the Lux model have reinforcement around them. Now let's talk about the firmness and feel of these mattresses. Here at Sleepopolis, we rate mattress firmness on a scale from one to 10, where one is as soft as a cloud and 10 is as firm as a rock. We use 6.5 as the standard for medium firm. Our testers rated both the Helix Midnight and the Helix Midnight Lux as a six out of 10 on the firmness scale, meaning they're a bit softer than average. However, while they share a firmness, they do slightly differ in feel. The standard Midnight feels soft, but bouncy and easy to move around on. The Lux feels more supportive and offers extra cushioning with that pillow top layer. Next up, let's talk about how these mattresses will feel in different sleeping positions. Your primary sleeping position is an important consideration as you're shopping for a mattress because different positions require different levels of support or pressure relief. For a back sleeper, most beds will work as long as they are comfortable and supportive. For side sleepers, you're generally gonna want something a little bit softer to provide pressure relief at the shoulder and the hip. And for stomach sleepers, you'll generally want something a bit firmer to keep your hips elevated and promote a neutral spinal alignment. Let's start off with back sleepers. Light and average weight back sleepers should feel very comfortable on either the Midnight or the Midnight Lux. Heavy back sleepers should go for the Midnight Lux between these two as it offers more support for a heavier body weight. Overall, these two beds both provide a solid mix of comfort and support in this position. Now onto side sleepers. 
For average weight side sleepers, either the Midnight or the Midnight Lux should provide excellent pressure relief and overall comfort. Lightweight side sleepers could also do well on either bed, but may want something just a bit softer since the beds will feel firmer to them. Heavy side sleepers should be cozy on the Lux, as it is soft but it provides sturdy support. And finally, stomach sleepers. On the whole, neither of these beds are a great choice for stomach sleepers, as they are overall too soft. Some lightweight stomach sleepers might be happy on the Midnight Lux, as it will feel a bit firmer to these sleepers, but generally, these aren't great picks for stomach sleepers. Now let's take a look at the results from another one of our tests, the pressure map. We use a heat mapping pressure map to show where pressure is building up along the body while lying in different sleeping positions. Blues and greens indicate low pressure, while reds and oranges indicate higher pressure. On the back, we see almost all blues for both of these beds, indicating very low pressure in this position. On the side, both the Midnight and Midnight Lux show blues and greens, with a bit of yellow around the hip. This is fairly normal, but something sleepers with sensitive hips may want to keep in mind. Two other tests we use to assess a bed are motion isolation and edge support. Now, both these tests are really important for couples looking for a bed to share together. Motion isolation refers to a bed's ability to isolate motion at the source, meaning it prevents it from transferring across the bed. Good motion isolation means you won't be woken up by your partner tossing and turning or getting out of bed. Now, edge support refers to a bed's ability to bear weight around the perimeter, and good edge support means that the bed won't dip down if you sit or lie along the edge. In our motion test, the standard midnight performed pretty well, meaning you shouldn't feel overly disturbed by your partner's movements. The midnight Lux didn't perform quite as well, but overall was still decent. As far as edge support, both these beds have reinforced edges, as we discussed in the construction section. Thanks to this reinforcement, both beds have excellent edge support. However, it should be noted that the Lux has reinforcement around the entire perimeter, while the standard only has it on the long sides of the bed. With all that in mind, who should get the standard Helix Midnight? First up, couples should appreciate the great motion isolation and sturdy edge support this bed offers. Second, back and side sleepers should appreciate the softer feel on the Helix Midnight. And finally, budget shoppers will probably opt for the standard Midnight over the Helix Midnight Lux because it is less expensive. However, you can save money on both these beds by clicking the link in the description of this video. And now, who should get the Lux? First up, anyone looking for an even plusher feel should opt for the Lux over the standard Midnight as it has that pressure relieving and cozy pillow top. Second, sleepers who want more support should also go for the Lux over the standard Midnight as it has sturdy coils and all around reinforced edges. Heavy sleepers who weigh 250 pounds or more in particular should do really well on the Lux over the standard Midnight as it is just much more supportive. And finally, hot sleepers should opt for the Lux as it comes with a cooling tensile cover. Well folks, that is it for this comparison between the Helix Midnight and the Helix Midnight Lux. Ultimately, I can't make your decision for you, but I hope you found this video helpful on your journey towards finding the best mattress for you. If you want to learn more about either of these beds or see some more great options, just click the link in the description or head over to sleepopolis.com. You can also find a lot more product reviews, sleep health information, and exclusive coupons over there. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!